What is up heroes, this is Minade Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, the very first episode, we signed up to have our brain imaged and woke up in this mess. And I don't have any idea what's going on. It's been a minute since I've recorded, so forgive me if my, I guess, understanding of the controls is not as intuitive as it was in the last episode. Granted, that's a pretty low bar. I believe I can interact with things with the R2 button, yes? And I can throw them, I can run, I can jump, crouch, and I can lean? Yes, I can lean. And so I think this was more of like the tutorial area. We will now proceed over this way, I think. Where was the door? This one? Was it this one? No, there was a specific door we unlocked though, I think, right? I don't think it was over this way, was it? Man, the sound design in this game is so creepy. I don't remember. We got the Omni Tool. That is what I do remember. And I don't really know how to use it that well. Actually, let me check. Did I even bring it with me? It's still here. What can I do with this? System status. Um... I don't really know. Unlock toolbox, manage tool chip. Welcome, Louise Miron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Oh. Well, that's problematic, right? So I need to insert a tool chip or toolbox here, I think? Right? Maybe? I don't really know. Do we have a chip? Hmm, unlock toolbox? So now we have a chip, I believe. And now we've placed the chip. There we go. We are rapidly making progress. Actually. Trust no one. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can update. Tool chip security cipher updated. Okay. So now we have this handy dandy Omni tool. What can I? It's like the touchpad. That's like the inventory, right? It's showing I have... Oh, that's right. That's just kind of what it does, doesn't it? Okay. So now that we have that, the question becomes again... I'm pretty sure I, like, explored this area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I explored all this area. There was just one particular door I was trying to go through that I didn't find. Wow, it is so dark. It's so dark. Was it through here? It seems we're not alone. I don't think it's there. Alright, I I might even just look at the footage to see where we were supposed to go. I am sorry about this, guys. This is what happens when you don't do all of your recording in one session. You get, like, majorly lost the next time you pick up the controller. Okay. Was it in here? No, this is the break room, right? What a great start to the second episode. <laughs> My apologies, guys. But if you had any doubts if this was blind or not... Here we go. Is this where I'm supposed to go? There we go. Oh, and it's surprisingly well lit over here? It's like a... One of those places at the aquarium where you like walk through the tunnel and all the fish are swimming overhead. That's actually really neat. I'm gonna get a flashback here. Yes? No? Anything on the computer? No. What is this? Data buffer available. Here for years. You're not even gonna miss it a little bit. A power plant full of psychotic machines. I'll 
Oh boy. So, so you mean to tell me that we're on like an abandoned space station because it was swarmed by psychotic machines? What? What am I looking at? Are these fish? Yeah. Looks like it. Why is there like a like a human esque thing in the lower left corner? Was that an Omni tool on one of them too? For what it's worth, these are very neat drawings. I don't know if this game keeps track of all of the oh back in different thick structure gel they can't shake. Huh, freaky fishes. So they were probably doing some sort of modification to the fishes. Fishes. Um, they might even be, like, robotic fishes. Why do I keep saying fishes? It's because I just read it that way. Uh, normally I would just say fish. But can I, can I walk through here? I can. Now the real question is, when are the lights going to go out? It's awfully well lit in here. Well, loading. Nice. Okay, so over to the right was the thermal plant, the machine hangar, the service station and storage, the break room, tech depot, and observation tunnel. And we are coming up on the observation tower up there, or security over this way. It looks like we're going to be headed towards security. Uh-oh, we're having another sort of flashback. Lovely. Just lovely. So we're locked in here for the moment. So that damaged me, I guess? Poke? Ah! What was that? What is, what is going on? I'm so confused. It doesn't hurt anymore. Have we been like infected by the psychotic machines or something? Can I interact with that? No? How did, like, like what is this thing? It almost looks plant-like. Like a parasite of some sort. Oh, so now we're in like a little ventilation shaft. Robot assembly. Okay. Loading. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, it took forever to load the game <laughs> when I was starting it up again. But that's not the end of the world. My Hero One's Justice is probably the game with that I've played with the worst loading screens. Love the game. It's just almost unbearable though. What is that sound? It's so difficult to see. Do I go right or left? Over this way, it's really dark. But I see one of these icons indicating I might be able to get out somewhere. Nope, seems like that's not the case. So I guess we'll head on back this way. Dang, this game has me on edge. I will say the sound design, again, is phenomenal. Even just like in the loading screens. That take very long. <laughs> so what is the story of Upsilon, this station here? What happened? What was going on here before it was supposedly swarmed with psychotic robots? Surely that's what we're figuring out. And is Upsilon even real, or is it some sort of, like, metaphoric presence in Simon's mind that we're currently exploring as he's going through this whole imaging process? What is going on here? Did... did that machine just talk to me? Hey, can you hear me? Can it, can it hear me or no? So I can't hit the power button like that, but what if, can I pick this back up? I can. I guess I can place it back or, or not. It doesn't seem to be going back in place. But if it were, I wonder what would have happened had I pressed the power button while it was plugged in. I don't really know. What's going on with this computer screen? It seems like it was indicating some sort of map or something. I need it. Why? 
Is one of the themes of this game going to be blurring the lines between robots and humans? Definitely seems to be heading in that direction. Speaking of direction, is my next one over here? Possibly? Can I, can I get through? Attention, stand clear, door opens and closes automatically. Well, doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. Okay. So we came in here through the vent. There was another path we could have gone. I don't know. I want to make sure I'm not missing something obvious before we leave. Radio signal blocked insufficient power. What is this? Headset? Oh, now that that's unplugged. Oh, was that like parasitically feeding off the power of this thing? That seems to be the case. So S1 and S2 have, I guess, very, very minuscule amounts of power, but they do have power. So as part of what we're going to do, looking around trying to find these robots and then, you know, unplugging them. Terminal locked. By what? Why? So what does this post-it note say? Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on WAU. Issue has been reported SSE. We'll check. The structure gel leakage. Huh. For what it's worth, I don't... Structure gel leakage. Is that that black stuff? I think so. Terminal signal blocked. Alright, well, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot we can actually do here. Can I interact with that screen? No. Okay. I mean, maybe I'm missing something super obvious, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like there's much more I can do with this setup. What about this button here? Does doing that enable something? Or does it literally just close off the area? Because I've already unplugged those. Is the game telling me not to do anything with the structure leak, structure gel leakage? A code for doing something with the structure gel leakage? What about these monitors up here? Can I interact with those? No. What does this say? Just a bunch of errors. Alright, then I guess... I would almost certain we were supposed to leave through here, though. Can I use my Omni tool? Uh, I don't want to go back through the vent and then find out I missed something I should have gotten here. And have to wander back. What about these buttons? Huh. Is there an order to them? I see. Okay. And now it looks like it's booting. I'm glad I didn't leave. So this door should be opening now. Portugal, Lisbon. Huh. What is going on in there? Is there something bad in the air that needs to be filtered by that? Before we can safely go out there? It seems like it. Can I open the door, please? Alright, we're waiting. Sight Lambda. Oh, what is... What, what's happening? Hello, is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, so, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. 
Mm. Yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? Oof. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost <laughs> Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Okay. Now we can finally go through here. Falling hazard. Work at a safe distance from well. Upsilon. Wow, look at this place. This thing was all up and running. What do we have here? Upsilon standard, pressure, oxygen, station diagnosis, production, power restored, recorded downtime. 143 days. Wow. So, presumably, we've been in Upsilon, just kind of knocked out, unsure of what's going on for 143 days. And it also shows there are multiple breaches in the inner hole. Huh. So clearly a lot's, you know, not super hot. But we already knew that. So now the question is, do we go right or left? We can try to make this jump. Should have known. Well, I can climb this for now. Awfully slowly. And of course the ladder comes off. Should have known better. This is a horror game after all. They wouldn't give me an out like that. So those terminals... Oh my goodness! What in the world? That's gotta be one of those psychotic robots. And Simon is not very happy walking by it. He's getting those like distortions and stuff. I do at the very least appreciate that they introduce these robots in a relatively tame manner. So I think I'm actually supposed to go over this way. So we will head over here. Oh, you can hear in the background, it like unpredictably increases its walk speed. What can we do with this? Okay, we open the door. Was that, was that bad? Should I have turned something off before doing that? Yes? No? Or is the game teaching me that that's bad, but it's okay for this one moment? I don't know. So we close that door off, seal ourselves in here, for better or worse. That sound, it almost sounded like the psychotic robot was coming after us. I wonder what those robots are called. We'll just, we'll just call them robots for now. So we're going up. Hopefully towards the comm center. Oh! We've got a friend out there. What is going on? I'm so confused. Was that robot talking as if... Is the robot confused and was relying on the... Or, like, looking for the humans for help? So, we've got a log in here. I don't know the ID number. Log down, lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the login ID, so we're not going to be able to do that for now. What do we have over here? Similar login. Check terminal for details. What do we have over here? Some canned food. Can't get through there, unsurprisingly. Okay, so those are just sort of like stationary robots. So the real question then is... <laughs> Where are the robots that are uh, moving around coming after us? So what is this? Amy's sketchbook. 
kind of more evidence of, you know, people that were here, right? Amy, Roger, etc. To-do list, what does it say? Seal exit, seal exit, the end one is being awesome. Reseal exit. Hashtag hidden work. Good? I don't know. And then what is this, right? Is this some sort of drawing of, I don't know, some giant robot fish type thing? I don't know. All right. Is there anything else we want to do out there? Who's talking to me? Is it that thing down there? Oh, I think it is. Can I do anything up here? What are you guys doing? Huh. So I'm obviously trying to go up towards the comp center. I can also go out that door. I can go up there. Yeah, I mean, that's communications. Here's the thing, right? Do I do I explore over here? Yes or no? You know what? We'll... We will explore a little bit. What the hell happened to you? What are you? Are you blind? It's me. Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? Nope. No, <laughs> actually. Thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. And then the question is, are you like a good robot or a bad robot? Have you been infected? Like, what is all of that? It has a name, Carl. Very interesting. Very peculiar. Clearly, this robot's been waiting on the humans that abandoned this place for quite some time. Alright, well, there's another room over here. This one looks a little bit more threatening? I don't know why. I don't know what gives the impression of threatening. Maybe it's the dead body with blood there. And... This is clearly designed to be a place to hide. Press L1 while holding an object to throw it. <laughs> I wonder why they're telling me that. It's in order to distract robots. Oh god, he's dead? He's dead. Carl Semkin. Wait, what? Oh wait, do I not? Whoa. Am I, like, tapping into his memories? Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock. So... So it looks like... Carl was from the Theta station. And then, notably, the... What's it called? The robot that we were just talking to called itself Carl Semkin, right? Which is awfully concerning, because we don't think Carl was turned into a robot. We think maybe this robot attacked Carl and assumed his consciousness, his identity, something. That is so weird. But anyways, I wanted to know that the login was, what, 0722? Logged in is Carl Semkin, okay? What does the mail say? So, a draft that was not actually sent to Heather. Upsilon auto process. Yeah, and it sounds like they were sealing off the place. They need enough power. They mentioned an apocalypse as well. Is that referring to the robots taking over the station? Or something that put them on that station in the first place? 
Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone has ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. We'll send it. Ah. Uh, okay, so that, um, that did not end up going very well. And that explains why the power has, you know, been going out quite a bit. Power manager, thermal channel thermal chamber, sufficient power solution not found. The storage, we can turn the power on. Same with the comm center. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the comm center. Oh, so I can turn it off in the storage in order to turn it on? No, I guess not. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. So it looks like that's to the left of that robot before. And that seems like it's going to be a little bit of a safer venture than down that hallway where we found, you know, dead Carl Semkin. Flow control we can turn on, storage will turn on, because, again, we, we like our light around here. It's interesting whenever, you know, Simon, our main character's vision gets blurry and everything, it's so off-putting. So this is what we can potentially turn off to divert. Oh, the, I bet the question is, if we do this, are, are we going to be shutting down Robot Carl? Sorry, Carl. Please tell Amy. I need help. I I'm sorry. I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. I, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know if this is like a good robot, bad robot, real Carl, you not Carl. Help. I don't know, but I felt so bad. Oh, man. All right. Looks like we're going to have to go down that hallway. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do about the whole not being able to move thing. Sorry. But... I guess we're gonna have to go down that other hallway. And as I was saying, they only tell us how to throw things in a horror game when you need to distract some sort of enemy. So we'll pick this up for now. We need to go down this hallway to the left in order to find it. It's way too quiet. Like, way too quiet. Oops. Is everything, like, stable in there? It sounds like it. What's all back here? Anything I can access? Oh no, it looks like there's some glass. Okay. Okay. Then, what does this say? Read this. We strain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we want it, right? We need that communication power. What's over this way? Can I go up here? This is up to the communications. Potentially? What is that sound? Water? Zeppelin cargo transport. That transport looks like that thing we saw in the drawing before. So, Upsilon, between Theta, and, and all these different things. Okay. I don't really know what that tells me, though. Alright, we'll set our box down for now. We can open this door a little bit more. 
What are we finding in here? Pressurization? Hmm. Alright, well, we can check what's going on through here. Is it opening? I hit the button. What is with all this rumbling? I don't know if you guys can hear that as well as I can, but sometimes it sounds like the whole place just like rumbles. What the, what what button did I just press? What did it do? All right, well, I mean, I'll head back down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Carefully. Run for it! Run for it! Right. Oh my! We have a friend in here. That's probably what I heard. Oh, and he's totally gonna find us. I should have brought my box with me. I should have brought my box with me. Oh boy, I don't like this. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I think he saw me. I thought we were safe where we were. Oh. We were not safe where we were. Alright. Oh, crap. So we are very not safe right now. We are just barely hanging on. And I think it sees us again. Which is very not good. But I don't know if it can actually reach us right now. It can't. So it sees us, but it can't reach us. And it looks like it's actually almost kind of locked in that... stairwell, for better or worse. Oh my goodness. What? Am I being, like, brought down? This, the screen is all distorted and stuff. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna reach for that. Just uh, from afar, we're gonna try and pull that lever real quick. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, darn it, not good. All right, we're gonna run for it. So we'll hide in here for now. It almost looked like it walked through those boxes. I thought I had a little bit more of a buffer than I did, but. We're probably on low health or something. I'm just wondering. It, it, it auto-saves, that's right. So the next question is, what do we do? I thought I hit all of the relevant switches and stuff. Alright, so we'll use this to distract it. Is it currently? Okay, I see it, I see it. I don't think it sees me, which is lovely. But I wasn't able to pull that power switch, was I? And that's a little problematic. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, we're gonna chuck that there. Please. Come on. Darn it. So, I'm a little bit confused. Not gonna lie. I thought once we hit like the pressurization, we turned off the power, we would be all good to go. I need, oh, I, you know what? I probably need to access the desk so I can re-divert the power to the communication center. And then once I divert that power, I should be able to open the door to it. So that's probably the goal here. Okay, so I've got to get to the computers first. Where is it? It seems kind of... far? I don't know where it is. But I think we're safe... for a moment. But really only for a moment. Alright, we're gonna turn that on. Where's my coil thing? Okay. OK. 
Okay, are you gonna go left or right? Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think we died, guys. Oh, no, yeah, they, they didn't really beat around the bush there. We died. Um, so I thought as soon as he turned left, I could throw that thing and it would uh, distract him. But clearly we were not as quick as we needed to be. But at the very least, towards the end there, I felt like I had the right idea of what we needed to do. Oh, they're going to start me back here. So we've pulled that, okay. I've got my box. Lovely. Is that thing marching around over there? I don't, I don't know. Let's see here. If I go up here, I can probably reactivate that one lever or switch or whatever that I did last time. Yeah, okay. So we gotta redo this real quick. And now we can head on down. And then we should be able to access the comms area. Which is just what we're looking for. It's also good to know that behind that desk is part of its patrolling area. I did not know that that would be the case. Nor did I suspect it, actually. However, given the powers out, all the doors are unlocked. Oh, man. So it comes up the stairs there. And then what? Does it go left? No, this time it goes right. Alright, so we'll, we'll chill for a moment. We'll chill. Alright, we're just gonna let that down. Oh my. What in the world is that sound? It is rather unpleasant. to the right. Yep, it went to the right. The question is, is it coming back? Which way is it going? It's running. That thing doesn't need to be plugged into the wall to <laughs> be running around with plenty of energy, that's for sure. Okay. So while that's going on there... We are going to head over here for the moment. We're going to set that down very nicely. Very quietly. Oh, it's going to make me log in again? No, we're good. Okay. Come on. Log me in. We're going to turn that on. We're going to turn this on too. Okay. I can't see. Where is it? Ah, oh, crap. Darn it. I tried to throw that to no avail. Can I effectively hide here? We're about to find out. Oh, the most effective hiding. Oh, the most effective hiding, guys. The most effective hiding. <laughs> I'm shocked that that worked. Absolutely shocked. I am in disbelief. What is over here? Black box? Alright, well, we'll deal with it later, I guess. I'm curious, though. Can it walk through here? I don't think it can, can it? I want to read this. Brief introduction. Uh, is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly related to Panthers 2's warden unit. Uh, that's what the WAU is. So the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto-injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Huh. So this is probably related somehow to our experience of our environment, right? This chip is somehow creating an environment for us that it thinks is ideal for us based on what it's reading from our brain 
um, but it also requires some sort of maintenance and is obviously prone to going awry if not maintained properly. And I think that's what we're experiencing at the moment. Or we don't actually know if this is real or if it's not, but if it's not, that would be one reason for it. All right. Okay, carefully, calmly. I think it knows we're up here. So we're gonna close that very quickly. Whew. And we safely made it through that. Where are we now? Corrupted data detected, restore files. Okay, it's an audio player. What are we gonna listen to here? Wolchek. Was that? Oh, I'm trying to remember if that was the name of our doctor from the very first episode. I don't know. The last one's gonna be like, ah, and like all the screaming and stuff. Hey, hello, Beta? Epsilon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, site service engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center, and if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Gotcha. gotcha. So problems are happening at Upsilon, and they tried to reach out to Theta, or rather this um, Wolchek person. Hello? Peter, was it? Yes, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on. What's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Wow, surprisingly not as depressing as I expected. But I guess the idea is they, they were basically setting up Upsilon because it was kind of like an abandoned ship. They were going to seal off everything they could. And then um, after they had sealed everything off, basically just have it on autoplay for as long as they could manage while they come up with some other solution. What is going on over here? Okay, so we poke it and it like dies and the electric circuits go out or whatever. I don't I don't really know what's going on there. I'm sure there's a rationale, but interesting. So this is probably a pretty big deal. This map here New York. Okay, so actually, we've got this map here, which shows a route of some sort. I don't really know why. We've got some information here on the walls, and we have this large computer here, which is likely going to be our means of trying to communicate with other people, should should there be any other people, right? And I'm looking forward to doing so, but we're going to be doing that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was where we first got our introduction to the monsters of this playthrough, right? and some of the stealth elements and got a little bit more familiar with how everything is automated or you know all of the artificial intelligence of the the robots as they patrol and we've introduced this mystery of what happened to the people that were on Upsilon what happened with these sort of psychotic robots and how did they interact with the people they found why is one of the robots thinking it's Carl a person that we found the dead body of in another hallway right and I'm sure we'll get at least some of the answers, or, I don't know, maybe not necessarily answers, but more information that'll provide more context uh, later on. But I hope you guys are looking forward to that just as much as I am. But until the next episode, it's been 9-0, and this mission is complete.